So hey Mickey, you made it through this elimination, and uh, how's that feeling to you? I was good. I was worried I was going to get eliminated, and I was prepared for that. And I was, um, but I was hoping that I could go on, not necessarily because I thought my piece deserved to, but because I want the um, pressure to 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 make it better. And I feel like it would um, it would be easy to stop now. And I'm glad I now have the responsibility of having to work more on this to try, because it'd be so easy to just not try and say, oh well, that was that, and I gave it my best. But I feel like I'm glad now that I have to keep um, uh, working on it. How are you going to feel if you don't make it to the finals? I, or... I'll feel disappointed. Uh -huh. um, I've, I'll feel disappointed. I don't think I would feel entirely surprised. Um, but I would feel disappointed, for sure. I'd like to try my hardest to, to complete this project, and that would be the, what the next step would be. What would it mean to you if you won? Um, I, it would, I'd be proud, and it would give me some um, happiness to know that, because with this whole dance thing, it's the fear of not knowing what I'm doing is a big fear, and so to get through to that point would give me a little bit of validation, I think, for better or worse, needing that validation, but it would be nice to know, okay, I'm not completely hopeless at this, and I, I have something to offer that's interesting, um, and that I was able to work in this process to kind of um, work within this process to do something uh, successful. And if you didn't win, would you feel that you'd learned anything new oh, about Oh yeah, for sure, definitely, definitely. I mean, that coming, this whole process so far, I feel like I've learned a lot about it and a lot about the, the logistics of choreography and then also the whole psychological thing of trying to make pieces and getting it to be appreciated and things like that. Yeah, you've been um, more comfortable with pure sport and for you, I mean, you've you've spoken before about the difference between being co between competitive sport like wheelchair basketball and, and something like this, is that you could that you had a lot of pleasure in the comp the competitive feelings between you and other um, you know the opponents you work with, and and there was a difference for you in in this. Did you want to try to describe? Yeah, what that well, was like? it's kind of like in sports. I know. Uh, the rules, and I know I've done them for so long, I sort of have an intuition about them, and my body knows what to do, it knows how to move, it knows how to... I know the decision-making and the body movement come instinctively in many sports. Whereas in dance, neither one comes very instinctively a lot of the time, and so it's much more of a self-conscious process, which doesn't feel... Being self-conscious for this is not all very fun. I think it's valuable, but a lot of the time you just want it to uh, come from a place of being very natural and impulsive, which in sports, that's the idea, is you train yourself to where you're not thinking, you react. They always say, don't think, react. Mm -hmm. and the hope is that you've trained enough to do that. And I haven't trained enough in dance for that to be the case. So I have to think before I can react. Well, I don't have to, but I do. I think before I react a lot of the time out here, and I'm trying to develop so I do less of the thinking before the reacting. In what way do you, uh, do you have ideas already about how you're going to change it up and what kinds of uh, ways you're going to develop the piece now? Well, I've got to cut a lot out to get it down to three minutes, and so that I think will be good because I've been adding more and more and more, and I think uh, with the dancers, including you, I gave you a lot today, which was too much to think about, so it kind of, I would like to cut it down to where it's very manageable in your minds because I feel like now the part that would really be nice to see is where you guys are getting to do it in a way that's really, really feels good, so that, because I feel like of the things we did today, there are a few that I would really want to change a lot, so we can cut those down, and then get you doing those things really well in ways you like, and I think that'll be sort of my strategy for tomorrow. I don't think I'll be adding too much, probably. What's it like to have um, people in your pieces who are also choreographers of other pieces that you're competing against? It's interesting, because I started getting pissy today. <laughs> when like you were on the phone for instance and I was like well this isn't fair should I not show up for Heather's piece then because I'm not getting my people for or you know I'm not getting my people for my piece or so it's hard it didn't come up too much but there were little moments where I was like oh god how could they do this they're sabotaging my piece and they, they're wasting you know or like when break happens and Heather's talking about her piece and it's like well how do you know I don't I mean why can you talk about your piece I want to talk about mine I want to take my break blah blah, blah. so uh, yeah the competition heats things up very quickly. <laughs> Does it um, make you treat your um, 
Does it make you treat your dancers differently while you're choreographing them or working with them? Not really. I didn't even think about that while I was doing it because I was just focusing on trying to make that our piece a solid piece yeah. and interesting. Yeah. It's been great to talk to you. Cool. I'm Mickey, and this is day eight of Don't Suck. Don't suck, Mickey. Thanks.